I don't know what the weather's been like in your part of the world, but around here, we've been getting a lot of rain, which has caused our lawn to grow really long, really fast. So I wanna show you how you can use an overgrown lawn to have fun with kids and maybe even turn it into a ministry opportunity. The next time you mow your lawn, instead of doing the traditional back and forth until the whole thing's flat and even and the same length, get a little bit whimsical and mow some circles over here and some squares over here and then connect the whole thing with a couple of zigzags to create a giant maze in your own yard. Kids love it. All you gotta do is turn them loose and say, guys, go play, and they'll create fun of their own. Or if they need a little bit of help, you can create some games. For instance, just let them play tag on that giant maze. That's my kids' favorite thing to do. And you can even make it a little bit more unique and challenging. So first of all, tag on a maze is fun because you tell them if you stay on the maze, you're still in. But if you jump out and you run off the paths that we've created, then either they're out or they're it. And who wants to be it in tag? Well, that creates a whole new dimension for the tag game. You also can make it a little bit more fair for younger kids who are always getting caught. In my family, I have four kids of varying ages. So my oldest kid is very rarely it because he can really easily catch his two-year-old sister. But if you've mowed a giant maze, you can make a rule that the oldest kids have to stay on the paths and the youngest kids are allowed to path jump to get away from the older kids or to catch the older kids. This makes the older kids have to strategize to think of what's the best way to get to that little kid and tag them and also allows the little kids to have a lot more fun playing tag since it's not so easy to catch them. They've actually got a fighting chance. Another game you can play is a form of dodgeball where the kid who is it gets a ball to throw at the other kids and try to either get them out or get them to be it. And here's the thing, the kid with the ball doesn't have to stay on the path. So he's allowed to run wherever he wants to throw it at the other kids, but then if he misses, he has to run off and get it. That's why he can't stay on the pass. And the other kids have to stay on the pass, so it creates an additional challenge. Or you as a parent or aunt or uncle can get involved by you taking the ball and standing outside the pass and throwing the ball to hit the kids. So this is a really good way to play this game if, like me, you've got some health issues, you're not very mobile, it's hard for you to run around and chase your kids. Well, I can set up a chair close to this maze and just throw things at my kids while they run around. It's a great stress reliever. But you use a soft ball, or not a soft ball, but a ball that is soft, so you don't actually hurt your kids. It's just a fun game. But if they get hit, they're out, or dad gets a point, or whatever you wanna do with that. But it's a really great way to connect with kids and just have fun. And then after you've thrown the ball, or maybe you get a couple balls that you throw at them while they're running back and forth on the maze, they pick them all up, bring them back, and you play again. My kids love it. You can also turn this into a little bit of a ministry. Uh, for instance, last week we had a five-day club here in our own backyard, so my wife mowed paths into the yard for the kids to play on whenever they first showed up for five-day club and as they were leaving five-day club. So it just creates a safe and fun place for kids to gather. We've also invited younger families over from our church next month. They're gonna come over here and play on a giant maze with their kids. So it's an easy way and an easy excuse to just get people together for fun and while you're together, build relationships. It can be an excellent way to show the kids and families in your community that you care, that you're nice, <laughs> that you want to be a part of their lives. So if you've been getting a lot of rain and your lawn is overgrown, why not get out your lawnmower really quick in between the rain and move some paths in your backyard to create an amazing way to share the love and joy of Jesus with kids.